let's forget about east pakistan or japan for a second let's talk about india let's talk about odisha in this case 1999 there was a cyclone in odisha i think it was called as super cyclone it resulted in deaths of over 10000 people massive destruction of property extensive agriculture loss and this happened in 1999 20 years later in the same region there was a similar cyclone feni less than 100 people died how why same natural disaster but the way you reacted to the natural disaster it made all the difference in 1999 there was inadequate early warning systems there was poor disaster preparedness and most importantly there were limited evacuation efforts then what changed in 2019 in less than 48 hours 1.2 million people they were evacuated it was perhaps one of the biggest evacuations in india in such a record time in 2019 india used early warnings india mobilized thousands of disaster personnel India utilized technology. India utilized social media for efficient communication. Using social media for communication not needed. Efficient communication is important because social media is also used for inefficient communication. And all of those activities and actions saved thousands of lives. Looks like civil services is not powerless. It depends upon where do you want to show your power. Do you want to show your power in those entry exit videos, in those Twitter announcements? making useless videos on how to prepare for UPSC or do you want to dedicate those exact hours on ground working day and night for the job that you have been hired for these civil servants not hired to make youtube videos this highest officer what deepak rawat makes videos today i'm reading reading trela wala tomorrow i'll show my supreme power over kapda wala on wednesday i will take rest why because social media engagement is not so high the next video on of reading a dhaba wala will take place on saturday weekend more traction on my videos box in which a social media team cameraman Whether he is shooting a movie, perfects a thumbnail, uses the relevant tags. Is this why he is hired in civil services? If someone is breaking rules, someone is breaking laws, charge them. But you have no right to defame them by making a video of all that. Charge them, penalize them, allow the courts to function, and allow them to be proven guilty. Who gave you the right to defame them in front of millions of people? Think about their kids, their families. They also have friends. They also have to go to schools. But yes, these IAS officers will harass these people because they have the state license to do so. But they will never have the galls or spine to do anything similar with a big industrialist or a politician. Why? Because they will then take you to courts and they will ensure you that you will never get your next promotion or get impounded as JS in the central ministry because there is a court case pending against you. So whatever that IAS officer is doing is not civil services or public service. It's called vlogging, and that is fine. You know, money why are running advertisements on those videos? You perfect those thumbnails you target. You abuse those who are anyway helpless. Why right? so that your videos can go viral? But thankfully, not many IAS officers work just for the camera and on for the camera. Many work on ground silently and allow their work to make all the difference and do the talking. Vishu Pata Sethi. along with 11 other collectors had a very very critical role in planning execution evacuation relief operations that saved thousands of lives in odisha vishupada sethi and other 11 is officers they have set a benchmark in disaster management became a case study on how to effectively respond to a natural disaster lavatnik school at oxford talk about that a blogger of an is officer would harass us t fames make his videos go viral for cheap likes publicity that's not a benchmark that you should follow vishupada sethi and his benchmark is what an ideal civil servant should follow so looks like cyclones have the power to break apart countries the way it happens in case of pakistan cyclones have the power to destroy civilizations but if you can tackle cyclones effectively well you may perhaps acquire naval prowess like the cholas or save millions of lives away vishupada sethi did during his tenure in odisha it was the cyclone and the aftermath of cyclone that served as a catalyst for the political mobilization of east pakistan if you think about it the awami league led by sheikh mujibur rahman played a significant role in all the relief efforts he became the voice of the aggrieved population he became the voice to say out loud that central government mishandled cyclone disaster and then general elections took place month later in december a month after that cyclone and then awami league secured a landslide victory in east pakistan it was the aftermath of the cyclone it was the aftermath of this electoral victory of awami league and then subsequent political crisis all of those things were instrumental in setting the stage for bangladesh's liberation war in 71 so it looks like cyclones do not just have profound impact on ecosystems and biodiversity an understanding of this unique geographical phenomenon can also help you formulate better policies and of course the in depth understanding is necessary for planning relief and of course rehabilitation efforts and therefore perhaps upsc pays so much importance to study these cyclones 
looks like a thorough understanding of cyclones and management of it will not just help you crack prelims or mains or interview but most importantly will also provide you the relevant skills and knowledge that you may need to manage these disasters effectively you can't be a civil servant if you can't ensure public safety you can't be a civil servant if you do not have an insight on what is empathy what does empathy look like so with this let's begin our journey of understanding cyclones now whatever we'll study in today's class and tomorrow's class should be more than enough for you to address any question that is to come from prelims and from mains perspective for interviews they give you varied scenarios and we'll discuss this closer to your interview date of course there will be a specific class on managing floods managing cyclones because those are tested a lot short term strategy long term strategy mid term strategy but that is for the interviews we'll do it later